Hunt Outdoors and today I'm going to be doing a review and kind of a show off video of the scent blender and I've seen this thing on um, social media but never tried it out myself and so gonna kind of open this thing up and show you what's inside of here in here of course you have the directions here make sure that you read uh, everything uh, inside of there and the whole idea of this blender is for you to be able to blend and use the scent of normal natural smells in an area so you're in a uh, oak tree flat and you have a lot of acorns on the ground you can take acorns i don't have some of that stuff today but you can take acorns blend this stuff up spray it um, you don't have to use this on your clothes there are certain things that you can uh, a couple things they talk about not using on your clothes is like if you want to blend up corn um, you can use it to freshen up a corn pile. You can use it to uh, freshen up some of the corn leaves, maybe for hunting a corn field or something. You want to get that scent out there, you can use that. Same thing with acorns. Uh, but you can also use things like leaves, um, natural grasses. If you are in a uh, um, you know hunting public land, there's a lot of CRP. You can go through there, grab some of that stuff, blend it up, and use it as a natural spray, either on your clothing, clothing walking through, or you know you get up in the stand and want to just shoot it around a little bit or even at the base of the stand or as you're walking in it just gives you that option and uh, it's a lot cheaper than going and buying scents all the time because now you have and you can kind of do it yourself so I'll give you a couple things about it. it has one of these uh here to make sure that we cl keep everything clean that comes with the kit inside this kit uh, there is the blending portion and uh, here has a charging port and a little charging cord that you just flip this open to charge it and make sure that it's fully charged now one thing that's really nice with this blender it's got a little lid here you take off is this thing is has a safety mechanism that if i try to turn this thing on it's not going to turn on uh because it, this this uh jug is not screwed down tight onto it so it does have a safety mechanism that's really nice uh concerning that so i'm going to set that right here and uh, then show you the spray bottle Here's a spray bottle. You mix and blend everything in the canister, the same canister that goes on the spray bottle. The spray bottle has a has a plastic um, mesh here that unscrews over the top of the little line here that helps with the squirt bottle, squirt bottle line. The screws are the top of that, and that keeps the dirt and stuff out of the mesh, uh, out of the, uh, the, the line there so it doesn't get blocked and stuff. And so that mesh right there, now you do not want to try to mix uh, dirt in here. You want to try to keep dirt out of there because dirt, if cut up really fine, can go through that and it can cause some clogs. And so I'll show you how to do this thing. It has a little line here, shows you to fill where to fill the water up to. So we're going to do a test real quick. And I just have some things I grabbed uh, out here out of the field. So I'm going to fill this thing up to the proper spot here. Set that to the side and take this and break it up. And shove some of this stuff down in here. Let's put a little bit more. Shove some of this stuff down in here. Yeah. Take the blender, put it over the top, screw it down tight, all the way tight, and that actually allows that sensor there then it's gonna blink and show you that it's ready you press this it's gonna turn and then you can see it is all blended up so then turn it upside down take this off okay set this to the side there and you can already smell that it has this type of a grass smell or plant smell to it and I promise you it's 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 really really good and so it smells really natural take this screw this back on again uh, let me just say this when I first saw this come out I thought ah you know what about that you know it I don't know if it'll work I promise you it works and it's great and uh, there and so then you just start squeezing it you have just the regular spray on it and this is coming over into here or you can narrow it down and just spray um, dire directly. So I'm shooting this about five, six foot away right now, or you can spray out. And so it um, has a shut off on it. You spray it too far um, there, but 
it smells natural. I'm telling you, you can sit here and spray some of this on here and it smells just like this stuff. You can do a test smell. It smells the same. So this stuff really works. When you get done, everything's gonna sit at the bottom when you run out. And it's so you don't have to keep going buying more and more of that scent spray stuff. You can just take this, you can use it, you, you clean it out, everything out, and you put new stuff in, you can start using it. You go to a different spot, You one place you have pine, the next place you have acorns. You just get different stuff and use it where you go. Again, you don't even have to use it on your clothes, but you use it, you know, you're walking through the woods and you, uh, you mess with some stuff on the ground or you put up your cell cameras. You can take this and you can squirt it on your cell cam just to make sure that you kind of try to take as much scent away as you can when you leave the woods. And so uh, all those different things that you can do, and again, when you get done at the bottom of this is going to have all the debris from it. And then you could take it and you can dump it out. Okay. Clean that out, that junk coming out of there and clean all that out and uh, take this water bottle there. It's back on. Push that around, dump it back out. Now, we're gonna try another one here, and this time we're gonna do some leaves. We're gonna throw some leaves in there and grind that up. By the way, that the uh, grass or the, the, the plant that I just threw in there has some good sized stems, and that thing grinded it right up. It's like a super food blender, basically, is what it is to help with that. But it ground up something that's a uh, good uh, three eighths to a quarter inch thick, and so that stuff does really good. And just gonna kind of throw this down here. Now I'm gonna throw some leaves and stuff in there, try to get some of that earth smell uh, in our blend. And so that's kind of what I wanna go for uh, to try to get some of that earth smell in there. Again, screw it down tight. Lights will start blinking that's ready. You push this, then you do that. And, then... and uh, there, and now trying it out for the first time. And I gotta say, man, I'm impressed. And great job, guys, for coming up with this design. It's a money saver for those guys. I mean, this this thing, I believe, was uh, it is a game saver when it comes to finances for those that do not have the money to just dump away and get all that grass stuff out of there. Now we are down to the... Oh, it smells like I just bought one of those earth scent things from the store. And I promise you, this stuff right here. It even has like a brown tint to it. And it smells like leaves, a little bit of wet leaves. And that is a great smell to have, especially if you're hunting on the ground. You have something that you can cover your scent when you're there on the ground. So, hey, go check it out there. It is the scent blender there and the link will be in the description go check them out follow them on facebook instagram uh youtube and all their platforms try it out i promise you, you will not be disappointed and just for your anything everything whatever scent you want to use 